person just got dropped off. It doesn't start. It was driving, and then all of a sudden, it didn't want to start at the gas station. Battery is dead. We're going to fully charge the battery and then start looking it over and see what goes on. See if we can hear anything weird going on. Fully charge the battery now. Check. Make sure we've got our main power. See what's going on. We do have power right here. I just checked it. This is our main post that goes right to the battery. We've got 12 here. And then when we are hitting the button, the small wire up above my finger right here is the solenoid, which is what's supposed to trip the solenoid and start, uh, spin the motor, which will start the engine. That feels like it is locked up. So we put in a new starter. The old one does look in pretty rough shape and connect to the battery. All right, you ready to hit it? The new starter just sounds so sweet. That just sounds really nice, don't it? That new starter, yep. it's got such a nice electric motor sound. Hit it again, just for the guys at home that didn't hear. Yeah, it just sounds so nice. All right, this guy will be happy because he quit running at a gas station and he's been a little bit before he could bring it to us. So we are gonna put it outside, put it on the trickle charger just to give that battery a bit more chance because it went stone dead. It's only a two year old battery right there, but we'll condition it on the trickle charger and hopefully it lives. So all good confirms that we put gas in it and that was the last drive. So he's gonna be happy that we are back up and running. I believe the windows cracked a little bit. We'll keep an eye on the weather. So I haven't uploaded in a while, I'm sure you guys, but what is going on? You guys was uploading two times a week. Now it's a week you haven't done anything. Well, we have been very busy behind the scenes. There is a lot going on. There is quite a few videos planned. There is one series. I'm up to episode three. I'm trying to get the series done. So when I put it up, I can make it back to back. That way, every single day you get a new video. You don't have to wait for an update. And we don't have the resources to produce a video every week of a six month build. We just don't have anybody doing that for us. I do all the filming, the editing, the uploading. When someone, even we've had cards a year after we've built a car for somebody and they send us this, it's like the biggest pat on the back that you can give us. And it's it's one of those things that just makes us, just reassures us we're really touching people and making a difference and people really enjoy what we do. We truly enjoy this stuff. It's not just a gimmick. We were trying to come up with an idea for a swim shirt, like uh, one of those dry fit type shirts, the ones that you can wear at the beach, you can wear fishing, you can go boating. Between George and I, we came up with this kind of shark, kind of S2000, and we kind of thought it was cool, but we put it up on Instagram. You guys hated it. So we do appreciate your feedback. We don't want to make a shirt that you don't want to buy. And I don't want some of you guys that want to support us and buy something you don't want, but you want to support us. I want you to buy stuff you like. So if you guys have any ideas for a swim shirt, something car related. All right, round two, we return the other one because it was noisy. And it seems like every other scroll fan out there is expensive as all. It is. And so tiny. So Esther went to, where did you go, Lowe's? I went to Lowe's. And they sucked. They were, it was like $109 for their cheapest scroll fan. And I was disappointed. So I was like, you know what? This was 89 and it worked well, it just made a loud hump. Like it there was did. something wrong with it, like an ele electric arc going on on the inside of it all yeah. the time. It's not the one that we returned, is it? I don't know, it looks, <laughs> who knows? Cause she I said tried it... to get one from like the bottom. I she said, like... is there anything wrong with it? We said, no, it works, it just makes a noise. She's like, put it back on the shelf. Yeah, you know she did. Those idiots will buy it again. Yeah, they always have that on it. Somebody else, somebody else. <laughs> Sean's over at the shop, we can get him to polish that out. No, this looks like factory. factory. Fresh. Fresh. I don't know. I can put stuff pretty good back in the box. <laughs> Not that I return a lot. <laughs> put that on camera. Moment of truth. You ready? Switch it on. Put on number one. Oh, that one sounds quieter. It does sound quieter. Yeah. It's quiet. Right? Okay. Yeah, that one's quiet. Wait, wait. So it must have been just a bum fan. You should check that light out in the mirror. Looks good. It does. So it's just getting noisier. 
It's been running for about an hour and it's just steadily getting noisier. It makes a humming sound. Bastion has been helping out in the shop and the store. So these are the master shifter rebuild kits. He's been packing those, getting those ready. Pedal buttons just came in from Honda. He's been packing those. The headlamp headlights that we call them are just come back in stock there in the store. We are stocking as much as we can, as fast as we can get it. So this fan number three coming. The buckets, I talked about these on one of the last episodes. These are the new stickers made by Pat the Stripe Guy. The first buckets we ordered were plastic and they were way too small. You couldn't even fit two bottles in there, let alone four or more. So we returned those and got the metal ones. But I'm actually gonna take these home and put these together, put the stickers on these and get them ready. So we went on a cruise and one of the ports of call was at Bimini. First time we've been there, really, really nice place. This is Radio Beach. So there's a bunch of little bars along there. One of the places that we found was Coconut Brian's. Brian's super nice guy, worked really hard. He had the cheapest beers on the beach. Esther went up and said, hey, do you have a bucket of beers? This is all he had. It was a bucket with a little bit of ice in it and some beer. So we said, we're gonna send you something. Get ready, look in the mail. This car is going to be coming up on a video soon. We did exhaust tips. That is going to be on a separate video too. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next video. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the like, and we'll see you on the next video.